Today, we're going to go through the icons on Scoutly's dashboard to see what they all do. We'll start at the top left with the Download Database icon. Clicking this icon brings you to the database download screen. You can choose which types of items you'd like to include in the database, then press Start to start downloading the database to your phone. Next, we have the Profit Triggers icon. Click it, and a list of categories will appear. Choose a category, and you will see the active profit triggers for that category. And you can click on the individual triggers to configure their settings. Next, we have the Scout screen, where you can scan items and do all of your scouting. To get back to the dashboard from here, you just have to click the dashboard icon in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Next, we have the menu icon where you can see the options to configure just about every setting for the app. You can configure all of your basic, advanced, or profit triggers. You can see all sorts of data on your scanning history such as total profits and items as well as your buy items list. And you can also adjust your audio and display preferences in addition to your scouting settings. You can also adjust your scouting settings under the settings icon from the dashboard. From here, you can adjust various settings for how you'd like the scouting function to behave under different conditions. The final dashboard icon is the account page where you can see which account is currently logged onto the phone. From this screen, you can also check your account status to see what kind of scanning you're allowed to do. And you can also email your account information or create a new account from this screen. That does it for our overview of the dashboard. Please go to www.acellertool.com manual for more videos and support topics.